Well, welcome back to the channel. <sighs> Thanks for joining me today. And we're, uh, we're actually at the Superbike Warehouse here in Great Yarmouth. Uh, newly opened a couple of weeks ago. And uh, yeah, we're going to take out the, the Vogue, the 650 DS Vogue. And I actually really like the look of this before I even jump on the bike, to be fair. It looks, it's a Chinese bike. Uh, pretty new to the game since about 2018. But um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a subsidy of uh, a company called Li um, Lin Linston, I think it is. We'll talk about that in a bit anyway. Who have been going for around 40 years. And uh, yeah, they've been in the game a long while. So we're going to jump on and we'll see what she's all about. Nice luggage bo boxes on here as well. Got to try and get my leg over now. Hey! <laughs> oh! Right, so... Not noticing any of the... Uh, there's 219 kilos, that I think, this. That's the wet weight. Not so she's not done many miles, so uh, I think she's done about 30 miles according to the trip there. Um, yeah, so we're going to go nice and easy, side stand up, in the gear, and away we go. Single cylinder this. Uh, it's also, it's also uh, the uh, A2 compliant as well. So it's 35 kilowatt, which is very useful, very handy for the new rider. No self cancelling indicators, better turn them off. Um, yeah, what a lovely day to be out today. And uh, yeah, what a bike. So anyway, we'll talk about the bike a little bit more in the detail as we ride. And I'll pull over in the usual way. Um, I'll give you a full walk around of the bike with all the specs and all of the uh, the information as as uh, as I usually do. But what I'm liking about this, I mean, well, where do I start really? I mean, it caught my eye as soon as I saw it in the showroom, uh, the Superbike Warehouse showroom in Great Yarmouth, and yeah, it just stood out. Um, well, that's Chinese, yeah, admittedly. Uh, it's also well, it is actually. Um, a subsidy of, like I said earlier, a company who've been around and been involved in uh, a lot of other uh, motorcycles as well, I believe. I believe BMW and uh, KTM as well, I think. So they've got a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of um, background in, uh, in in motorcycles. And I think Chinese bikes, I mean, looking at this one, they've come a long way. They really have come a long way. I mean, <sighs> like I said, I will pull over and I will run for all of the specs of the bike. But, you know, I'm just sort of starting, really. I mean, this has got... TFT dash even displays your tyre pressure you know normal a lot of other models you, you have to pay extra for things like that and uh, this is where I think the, the old Chinese market are kind of kind of you know going to come up trumps where they where they you know can provide all this at a lower cost I think the boat's coming in at 6599 and I think even at the moment they're chucking in the luggage with it as well so uh, I think the luggage is worth about well it's sold separately I believe about 899 pounds so yeah, that's what they're saying anyway, so I don't know how long that'll be, be uh, on offer for, but I'd recommend going and having a look anyway, but my first impressions, the riding position, lovely, lovely upright riding position here, like I say, it is an adventure bike, um, so uh, it's absolutely perfect really, nice, nice sort of uh, riding position, the seat is a little bit hard, but I haven't just jumped on the bike, so, and it is a brand new machine, might soften up a little bit. Who knows? Well, um, yeah. So that's so it's A2 compliant as well. So the learner rider or the newly newly restricted learner ro uh, new rider uh, can ride the bike. Turn that indicator off again, kill. Um, yeah. I mean, where do I start with it, really? Absolutely. I mean, that's got the screen there as well. It's adjustable in three different stages of screen. Uh, there's a knob on the front of it, wee! <laughs> and there is, uh, I think you'd have to slacken off those two Allen bolts, you know, so you'd have to you'd have to adjust it, obviously, before you set off, really. Uh, there is a toolkit under the seat at the rear as well, and uh, I'm sure there'd be an Allen key in there. But my first impressions are very good, very, very good visibility through these mirrors as well. Um, a little bit of vibration there, but that's as can be expected with this. Well, it's a single cylinder and it's a brand new bike, so uh, they're nice and tight. Um, 
but yeah the visibility is good a little bit of vibration through the foot pegs but like I say that's can be expected with a single but yeah just what you need really would make a perfect commuter bike this one you got loads of luggage luggage space as well if you opted for the boxes well it comes with the boxes now um, comes in three different colors as well red blue and this one being the black one uh, it's got the crash bars it's got the the sump guard lots of extras uh, lots of stuff that you'd probably spec your bike out with uh, you know on purchasing uh, a new bike brakes the brakes seem to be very good I'll, I'll try them out in a minute uh, it has got the 298 millimeter dual floating discs as well with uh, I think the twin pot Nissan calibers uh, it is a single lot like I keep saying so you do have to rivet to get it moving uh, probably a little bit of clutch slippage at low speeds but apart from that my first impressions are it's a very comfortable bike um, nice and wide bars like I said, I'm going to go it's not my bike so I'm uh, going to go nice and easy on it um, not going to go too crazy today uh, but, but it would be interesting to take this on a, on like a little bit of an off-road uh, track it's got the 19 inch front wheel on here and the 17 inch on the rear and it also has uh, the Pirelli, Pirelli, I think Pirelli Scorpion, I think they are, rally tyres on here as well. So give you confidence in, 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 uh, in, in riding there. But the display there, I mean, there's loads of info there. It's got a gear, gear shift indicator. It's got uh, four, four gears, I think, this bike. No, sorry, five gears. One down, four up, I think it is. So uh, usually you'd have six, six gears on a bike. This has got five and uh, yeah but there's loads of information there like I say it's got the uh, the tire pressure monitor in there front and rear um, which is saying 2.2 2.3 on the rear um, and rev counter there Lo loads of information fuel gauge there probably need to get some fuel actually uh, temperature gauge lots of information we will run through a bit more of that in a, in a, in a little while but um, I'm not in the fourth gear there, open the bike up and she ch chugs along. Brakes are very good. Clutch is nice and light. No issues with the gearbox there. Low speed manoeuvring, no problems. I'm very surprised, very surprised. Uh, I think they've, they've, they've actually, they've really done, done a good job so far. And my, uh, my first ride impressions, uh, you know, of the bike. Yeah, they do. They do. They do do a DS as well, I think, which is the non kind of. It's not so off-road orientated. Whereas this, this one's got the spoke wheels. Um, but yeah, stay tuned, and we'll uh, we'll pull over in a bit, and I'll give you a thorough walk around of this lovely machine. We wind her open a little bit on the nationals, and just try those brakes out. Sixty mile an hour. There we go front brake yeah very very good that can't grumble at all there needed front and rear 60 mile an hour absolutely fine there's no issues there a little bit of nosedive on the forks by the way the forks on here are the KYB type uh, 41 millimeter upside down type telescopic forks so they're uh, yeah I'm liking it I am liking it like I say, if you're interested in this machine, you can actually go 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 to the Superbike Warehouse and test ride this exact bike. You can test ride this exact bike if you're interested. Uh, they're a very friendly bunch over there. Uh, happy to help. And uh, there's a great selection of bikes over there. So I uh, would highly recommend a visit if you're uh, in the area. So a Superbike Warehouse, Great Yarmouth in Norfolk. So, uh, yeah, I'm very impressed so far. What's she like to find neutral? No issues, no issues at all. I am impressed. So I've got to go easier. The tyres aren't even scrubbed in yet. It's a brand new machine. So, uh, yeah. No issues there at all. I mean, this, this, the bike also often get asked about things like centre stand and stuff like that. And uh, I mean, this bike comes with a, with a centre stand that's chain driven. So, uh, you, you, you know, it just makes your life so much easier and, uh, you know, with things like adjusting the chain tension and oiling the chain and, and that type of thing. The bike also, I've uh, just been informed, it comes with a two-year warranty as well. So, you, you know, you've got peace of mind there. Uh, you know, you've not got to stress out too much there. So, any issues with the bike, 
and then no, you, you've got that you, you've got that back up so yeah I mean the gearbox is lovely cannot grumble not grumble at all there uh, loads of switch gear here uh, obviously uh, your daytime running lights are on at the moment so it's Euro 5 compliant the bike so uh, yeah you've got your daytime running lights on or your, or your low beam that's your high beam indicators horn yeah standard type of horn there on the right hand side here you've got kill switch and the hazards and the start and stop button there or well, not stop but start button sorry <laughs> um, another thing I was going to mention actually and I, I only did noticed that uh, a little while ago was that it's got their well they call them progressive indicators you know they strobe oh, I love that it's got LED lighting as well a um, little bit of glare on the display there um, you can get screen protectors which go on a bit like with your mobile phone anti-glare and uh, yeah that'll probably get rid of that but yeah a little bit now the sun's on there there's a little bit of glare but oh what that's done is that's gone into night mode because I've gone in, in, in the shade there uh, there is a little sensor there if you a uh, little sensor there um, which will sense uh, I've just done it as I put my finger over it there <laughs> alright we'll pull over just up here I'll give you a thorough walk around of this lovely machine yeah it's actually doing it quite a lot there seems to be flicking between the day and the night mode it's getting a little bit confused I think <laughs> suspension no grumbles there no problems it's not it's not adjustable on the front and it has got the uh, adjustable on the rear kyb again for your your preload for your spring preload which is handy um i should say I would, I would think it'd be very comfortable on the rear for your passenger as well should you want to take your rock chick on the back <laughs> and uh, you know you do a bit of touring very nice indeed very nice Lovely styling as well. We'll run through that in a minute. Uh, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and you'll be notified of all the latest uploads as, uh, as they happen. It'd be much appreciated to have you along uh, with the channel. And uh, yeah, lots more reviews coming, hopefully, in the future. Ride outs. I don't just do reviews, I do uh, ride outs and uh, the odd trip here and there. So yeah, it'd be great to have you along. What a lovely village here. What a lovely day to be out on this bike. Perfect day to be going out doing a review. Uh, another good thing about riding, you know, I mean, you've got the boxes on here, but you, so you'd have to be a bit careful when you're filtering, but I think, you know, you can't go too far wrong there. We're pulling here. I'm going to give you a thorough walk around of this machine. <laughs> Hopefully not to cause any bother anywhere. I wish you like at low speeds. Right, we're in first gear there. Well, actually, we'll slow it right down. First gear. See what she's like on the old um, throttle. Oh, they're not too bad. 10 mile an hour. Can't notice any of that weight. It's like say 219 kilos. Pull over here. In the sun. And do a thorough walk around of this machine. Right, so, what's she like to find? Neutral, first up to neutral, no issues, nice indicator light coming on there. We'll do second down into neutral. Lovely, lovely, no issues there at all. Um, side stand, very easy, cut the bike out because that's obviously uh, a safety feature there. Not going to dig in too much there. Right, so jump off. Oh, actually, what I will do, we'll have a little sound test, shall we? Nice little display there. You can actually connect your Bluetooth up. Uh, right. Fire up. She sounds nice. <laughs> right, let's take the old gloves off and we'll run through the full specs. Right, okay, so here we have her, the Vogue 650 DSX Adventure Bike. So yeah, as I said before, Vogue is a relatively, relatively new Chinese manufacturer, uh, founded back in 2018. Uh, it's a subsidiary to, to Lincoln. It's been around for about 40 years now, apparently. Uh, so yeah, I mean, they've got, 
got a lot of uh, input into these uh you know obviously these um you know the models on that now so uh, the engine basically is a a 652 cc four stroke liquid cooled uh single cylinder electric start fuel injected uh pushes out around uh 47 brake horsepower and 35 kilo uh, which is 35 kilowatts at 6750 rpm so like i say it's an a2 compliant bike um no issues there 59 newtons of torque at 5500 rpm so it's quite a punchy punchy machine really uh, and it, it's in kind of a class of its own really to be honest so yeah very very uh, i'm very impressed to be honest uh gearbox no issues with the gearbox five speed gearbox so it's one down four up and uh yeah i mean you don't really i mean i i, I sort of took it up to about 60 mile an hour and uh sort of no issues there and it didn't feel like it needed that that uh sixth gear really so yeah that's chain driven as well uh so yeah there's no shaft drive on this bike uh, no issues but it does have that center stand as well uh here so it's very easy to uh you know to maintain your chain and uh, even clean the bike as well it's got those lovely spoked wheels as well uh top speed i would say around 100 mile an hour you know maybe a little bit more a push uh wheels and chassis yeah the wheels are like i said 19 inch on the front there uh and i love that it's got this the uh the pirelli scorpion tires on there as well not loads of tread there kind of like an off-road focused maybe uh sort of 50 50 maybe yeah tire there uh yeah so 19 inch on the front 17 inch on the rear uh yeah they are pirelli scorpion rally tires you know obviously keeping you in check uh, on and off road uh the bike has a steel trellis frame um design and start you know can and come standard with an aluminium bash plate sump guard under there and uh the engine bars nice and solid them on there so if you did drop the bike um you know it's not really going to cause too many issues uh so yeah no issues bike weight the wet weight of the bike is 219 kilograms so yeah i suppose it's kind of at the heavier end but you know not really a problem uh, you know it's still relatively short with an 850 millimeter seat height so very easy to maneuver about um no issues with that uh the brakes it's got switchable abs actually and you can turn it on and off by this button here actually which would be good for your off-road uh you know if you're doing any off-road and that would be uh would be ideal um so yeah it's got the um uh, the, the non-corner abs though however but it is bosch so it's all like i say all the all these high-end uh, components um yeah so front discs are floating 298 millimeter um in size with nissan brake calipers and a single 240 millimeter on the rear again with the you've got mono shock suspension on the rear yeah you see the brakes down there and the abs ring in there so fully fully euro 5 compliant it's got the exhaust tucked in in there very nice indeed it's adjustable for the preload as well like i said so uh yeah you can you could adjust that up yeah the bike has these luggage the 40 liter i think this one is a 40 liter liter uh option uh on on the bike and like i say if you bought them separately you look at 899 but however it does come with it with an introductory offer at the minute it comes with a bike so you know it's uh got loads of room in there as well we'll open the top box actually try and do this one-handed yeah they're very well made as well very well made you'd easily get a helmet in there and uh your sandwiches very easy to open and close this one here uh i think that's locked actually oh no it's here yeah they actually lock onto the bike so yeah you could unlock uh, around this side here you can unlock no there sorry unlock that and that's how they're, they're detached from the bike so this one try and do it one-handed again <laughs> easier said than done <laughs> actually got my bag in that one so yeah slightly slightly smaller that one due to the exhaust being uh being there the uh dimensions of the bike if you're interested uh, the length of the bike is 2155 millimeters uh, the width of the bike is 850 millimeters and the height will well, be the total height not the seat height uh, is 1390 millimeters and the wheelbase is 1485 millimeters so uh yeah that's your boring numbers out of the way if you're interested in in those foot pegs it's got rubber foot pegs on there so you, that'll eliminate some of the vibration i think they're removable yeah there's a couple of allen, allen screws on, on bolts under there so you could potentially move those out of the way um 
nice rear foot, foot pegs there for the uh, the pillion passenger. Uh, under the seat, there is a tool kit under the seat uh, as well. I'm not going to take that off today. Yeah, the bike has uh, a TFT dash, including all the info and a USB connection for your devices, just in here actually. Nice little plug in there. Plug in your your phone or your GoPros or so yeah. Uh, let's turn the bike on. Have a look at the display. So it's got your information here, your indicators left and right. We'll put the hazards on actually. Uh, the hazards. Let's have a look there. Like I say, it's the, the progressive uh, indicators there, strobing. I call them strobing, but they're uh, well progressive. <laughs> uh, so yeah, what else have we got on here? Turn them off. We've got the rev counter, which, which is go, runs around this side here. Uh, the time, the battery voltage, the speed, obviously, the fuel gauge there, uh, average uh, fuel, and your tire pressure, <coughs> tire pressure monitor in there. So uh, it's got pretty much everything you need need on there. Your oil warning light, uh, engine management light, and your neutral light. Your indicator again or hazards ABS. Um, obviously, if you turn your ABS off, that light would come on. I would say when the bike is running. Uh, the temperature temperature gate uh, warning light there, and your high beam, nice and secure. I don't know if that's adjustable for the angle. I don't think it is. Uh, yeah, overall very good. Uh, the fuel of the bike. So we're looking at uh, 200 plus sort of mile range fuel. It's got an 18 litre tank. Uh, they're claiming 4.2 litres per 100 kilometres. With my maths, that's around uh, 67, 68 miles per gallon. Uh, yeah, like I said, the bike has three colour options, including red, blue or black. Yeah, it also has a centre stand as well, which I've already spoke about. Uh, what I was going to tell you. Price of the bike six thousand five hundred ninety-nine at the moment with the boxes. Um, Two-year warranty as well with the bike. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on it. You know, could you see yourself uh, maybe test riding one? Could you see? Do you own one? Have you had any uh, issues with one? Maybe. Hopefully not. But yeah, overall, let's look from the back. Yeah, not bad at all, eh? Not bad at all. It's very well built. Um, I mean the welds look look very good as well so it's not just been um you know just knocked together as some of the older ones were i think they come a long way you know the paintwork is very good no issues with the paint there it's kind of a matte finish on that one long travel long travel uh, suspension there on the front probably about 150 millimeters of uh, suspension travel there unison wheels look very good quality to be honest um yes very nice floating discs very nice indeed very nice indeed but yeah what i will say is uh you know how well how well the bike is made you know i know you think of chinese bikes as you know being maybe a bit, a bit on the cheap side or you know you know the quality the inferior quality here and there maybe potentially you know but i think things have come a long way i mean it all looks very good quality the exhaust you know the the, uh, the fixes and fittings, the the uh, you know the, the frame, the welds, the wheels, the tyres, everything. Nissan brakes. So they're using high end, you know, they're using higher end components now from uh, previous. So you know, I think overall, in all, I think it's been a very good, uh, yeah, very good. Um, bike, um, it does need to be revved at lower speeds. A uh, little bit of feathering of the clutch, but you know that's that's as can be expected. Uh, you know, it's a little bit vibey. Uh, but again, that is, I know I keep referring to it, but it's that, that 650 uh, single cylinder. Uh, anything, I mean, this does come with pretty much everything that you'd probably uh, spec a bike out to and with, to be honest. But, you know, one thing that you could, or a couple of things that you could uh, potentially do is put some heated grips on. Uh, you know, if you was to go touring or, um, you know, in the, going out in the winter months and that, you, you know, heated grips are always good. Uh, maybe cruise control as well but you know other than that i think it's an all-round you know you know fairly good package really for uh for uh you know what you get for the money so uh okay well i think we should jump back on and ride some more
So yeah, she's very easy to manoeuvre about at lower speeds. Uh, that's a little bit of clutch feathering, but um, yeah, no, no real issues. Um, a lot of that weight is very low down, so you don't feel any of the weight. No problems at all. Not snatchy on the throttle. I'm feathering the clutch a little bit. But yeah, I think overall a very good, uh, be a very good, I'd highly recommend a test ride. So yeah, get yourself over Superbike Warehouse, Grey Yarmouth. They're the, uh, the dealer. There's lots of lots of models there to choose from actually. They don't just deal in new, new, new bikes, they've got lots of used bikes there as well. Clothing, accessories, highly recommended uh, uh, you know, a visit. That's if you haven't already been over there. One thing I have noticed is that it's in neutral now and the neutral light isn't on. Oh, there you go. What a lovely day today. Well, it's a luxury of motorcycling, it's, uh, you know, especially in the summer, in the summer months. Absolutely lovely. Highly recommend it. Well, yeah, I really do appreciate you um, watching the video today. And uh, like I say, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Be much appreciated. And uh, yeah, take care. Hopefully, I'll see you on the next uh, video. Take care. See you soon.